You wake up one morning and find half your broilers huddled in the corners, sluggish, refusing to eat, the other half fighting over feed like they had not eaten in days. But here's the strange part. You fed them well, gave clean water, and the temperature was perfect. So, what went wrong? Now imagine this. A farmer in Nakuru kept his broilers under a 14-hour light schedule using a simple timer and solar setup. By day 35, his birds averaged 2.3 kilograms with zero signs of aggression, zero piling, and no feed refusal. No fancy supplements, just a structured lighting schedule. His profit margin shot up by over 28% compared to his neighbor who ran lights randomly, switching them on and off as he remembered. This is not magic, it is poultry photobiology. And today, we are diving deep into how a simple change in lighting hours can make your broilers explode in growth save feed, and reduce stress. If you cared about healthier chickens and better profits, give this video a like, share it with another farmer, subscribe so you do not miss proven tips like this, and tell me where you are watching from around the world. Let us now break down why this one tweak, 14 hours of daily light, could be the most powerful upgrade your farm has seen this year. You see, many Kenyan farmers run their broiler farms like a rolling blackout. Today, there is light from 6 in the morning to midnight. Tomorrow, it is off at 8 at night. Other times, the generator fails and the birds stay in darkness for 10 hours. These light inconsistencies do not just mess up your ability to see inside the house, they confuse the bird's internal clock. Broilers, like humans, have something called a circadian rhythm. It is the natural biological clock that controls hunger, digestion, sleep, hormone release, and even muscle growth. When light hours constantly change, the bird's body systems become disoriented. The result? Delayed feeding, slower digestion, lower feed efficiency, increased stress, and unfortunately, higher mortality. I have walked into farms where chicks, just two days old, were sleeping more than eating. Not because of disease, but because the brooder had 24 hours of constant light with no breaks. At that age, they need darkness too. Then, I visited a grow-out farm in Juja, where light was only on during the day. By week three, cannibalism had set in. Why? Feed competition in the early morning was too intense due to long overnight fasting, all because there was no supplemental evening light. This problem is not just about light, it is about your entire feed conversion rate. If your birds are not eating at the right time, under the right conditions, they will not convert well, and that is money leaking straight from your pockets. So what is the science behind the 14-hour lighting magic? according to research from the University of Arkansas and corroborated by a Kenyan study conducted at Egerton University in 2020, broilers exposed to controlled lighting schedules between 14 to 16 hours daily showed improved body weight gain, reduced leg disorders, and better feed conversion compared to those under continuous or highly irregular lighting. Here is why. During the light phase, the pineal gland of the bird stimulates appetite, alertness, and metabolic activity. This encourages birds to eat and move, both critical for muscle development. During the dark phase, melatonin is released. This hormone regulates sleep and recovery. In fact, melatonin has antioxidant effects. It repairs cells and boosts immunity. Without darkness, melatonin production is suppressed, leading to chronic stress. Without enough light, birds do not get enough stimulation to feed. That sweet spot, 14 hours of light and 10 hours of darkness, gives just enough feeding time for optimal growth while allowing birds to rest, digest, and recover. Think of it like this. Imagine you have a cow in the zero grazing unit. You feed her randomly, sometimes at 2 in the morning, other times at 5 in the evening. Would she produce consistent milk? No, same for your broilers. Predictability is power and light is what sets the clock. And here is the beauty, this lighting rhythm is not expensive to implement. With as little as one solar panel, a small inverter, and LED bulbs spaced every three meters, you can run a 14-hour light program even in remote areas without Kenya power. So how do you do it right? Hi there, my name's Peter, and I've been raising chickens for over 10 years now. Layers, broilers, even some indigenous birds. Let me be honest, before I found this book, I was struggling. Feed prices were going up, antibiotics were becoming less effective, and my flock just wasn't performing like it used to. Then I came across The Organic Chicken Farmer's Guide by Dominic Ngafo and Mogweru Isaac. I decided to buy it, and I'll tell you something. It changed everything on my farm. This guide isn't theory, it's practical. It shows you how to use local, affordable things like garlic, neem, turmeric, aloe vera. 
even charcoal, to keep your birds healthy and productive. I started small. I tried the moringa and garlic in the water for a week. I noticed improved appetite, less coughing, and better energy. Now, I've built my own small black soldier fly setup for protein, and I'm using fermented feeds regularly. My birds are growing faster, my eggs are bigger. I'm saving money, and I haven't used antibiotics in months. The best part? The book is easy to understand. It speaks our language, not complicated science. And it's available in English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Indonesian, so anyone can use it. If you're serious about poultry farming and want to move forward the smart way, scan the QR code you see on your screen or click the link in the description and the pinned comment. This book worked for me. I believe it can work for you too. Step 1. From day 1 to day 3, give chicks 23 hours of light with 1 hour of darkness. This helps them find feed and water while giving just a small rest window. Step 2. From day 4 to day 7, reduce light to 20 hours daily with 4 hours of darkness split into 2 blocks, 2 hours in the afternoon, 2 hours at night. This allows the chicks to begin adapting to a rhythm. Step 3. From day 8 onwards until marked age, maintain a consistent 14-hour light and 10-hour dark schedule. For example, switch lights on at 5 dos a.m. and off at 7 rolls p.m. Use a timer switch to automate this and prevent human error. Ensure the light intensity during the day is between 20 to 30 lux, roughly equal to the brightness of a well-lit room. At night, ensure the house is fully dark, no flickering lights or torchlight. Darkness must be complete for the melatonin to work. A farmer I advised in Muranga installed this exact system using motion sensors and battery-powered bulbs. His week 6 average weight jumped from 1.9 kilograms to 2.4 kilograms after applying this schedule for three cycles. More importantly, his feed intake dropped by 200 grams per bird while still hitting target weights. That is a huge feed savings when you scale to 1,000 birds. Over 200 kilograms saved. One mistake many farmers make is increasing light hours because they think more light equals more feeding time and faster growth. But science shows this backfires. Birds under 18 to 24 hours of continuous light develop leg disorders, ascites, and chronic stress. They eat more, yes, but they waste more. Their body does not get enough rest for muscle growth to match feed intake. It is like revving a car engine all day without changing gears. Another mistake, sudden shifts in light schedule. You cannot go from 14 hours today to 10 tomorrow and expect no impact. The birds panic. They crowd feeders in the final hour. They peck more. They fight. Always phase in changes slowly, over three to four days. Some farmers also rely too much on natural daylight. That is risky. In Kenya, daylight can drop to 11 hours during the rainy season. Without backup lighting, your birds lose an entire hour of feed activity each day over six weeks. That adds up to almost two days of lost growth time. You might ask, Dominic, what about broilers in deep litter versus battery cages? Does it matter? Yes. In battery cages, the birds are more sensitive to light intensity because they have no bedding to scratch or distractions. Too much light and they become hyperactive. Too little and they become lethargic. So, in cages, use softer LED bulbs with a dimmer switch, if possible. But I heard constant light boosts growth, Dominic. Is that not true? It used to be believed so, especially in older strains like the Cobb 500. But with modern broiler breeds like Ross 308, Aviagen has already published guidance recommending 14 to 16 hours of light maximum. The goal is sustainable growth, not just fast growth. You want weight gain with bone strength, gut health, and low mortality. That is what pays. Another myth is that broilers do not sleep. Totally false. Broilers nap multiple times per day and take longer sleep sessions during darkness. Sleep is essential for muscle repair, brain function, and immunity. Denying them proper rest is like feeding your birds, but refusing to let them digest. Eventually, it catches up with you. So here is your three-step action plan starting today. First, audit your current lighting. Do you have a schedule? Do you have a timer? What time do lights go on and off? Write it down. Second, fix your equipment. Get a timer switch. They cost less than $15 in most agrovets or online install LED bulbs every three meters and confirm your light intensity with your phone camera. If your camera adjusts brightness, the room is probably too dim. Third, implement the schedule. 14 hours light, 10 hours darkness. Stick to it. Track your weight gains and feed intake weekly. You will see the difference by week four. Let me leave you with this. Farming is not just about effort. It is about precision. 
If you are giving your birds good feed, clean water, and proper space, but still not getting returns, your missing link could be the light. Your broilers are not just animals. They are biological engines that respond to time, rhythm, and consistency. Give them the right lighting schedule, and they will reward you with faster growth, better health, and more money in your pocket. So, if this helped you, hit the like button, subscribe for weekly poultry tips, and share this with a farmer who needs it. I want every smallholder to win, not just with effort, but with smart farming decisions backed by science. Until next time, keep your light hours smart, your birds healthy, and your profits rising.